way too much money for rent, right? And, it, and it's always a tiny, shitty apartment, especially in this neighborhood here. You gotta watch out. The walls in my apartment are extremely thin. Like, I can hear everything my upstairs neighbors are doing. Everything. <laughs> it's gotten so bad, I had to buy a white noise machine to drown out the sound of their white noise machine. <laughs> And it's ironic, because look at me, everything that comes out of my face is white noise, and I have to spend money on this? <laughs> Why am I spending money on this? I don't know. I, uh, let's see, is anyone actually born and raised in San Francisco? Yeah, nope. <laughs> Room full of transplants. <laughs> uh, how about, is anyone from Reno? Woo! Wow, really? Oh boy. <laughs> Uh, she's so proud. Should I do it? I don't know. Do it. Uh, Reno, Reno is an odd place. I mean, I don't know if you knew this, but they have this, uh, they have this new tourism campaign, and the slogan is, Welcome to Selfie Town. <laughs> it's like, Reno. <laughs> you know, like, I, I feel like that's more of a PSA, right? <laughs> like, if you end up in Reno, take a hard look at yourself. <laughs> What went wrong here? <laughs> because, like, I mean, Reno, right? Like, Reno's, I'm, I'm sorry, but Reno's, like, one of the ugliest places I've been to. Like, it's like, it's like they're just publicly admitting with the Selfie Town slogan, they're just publicly admitting that there is nothing photogenic here. There's no, no landmarks, no museums, like, nothing. So they're just saying, if you're in Reno, you should just turn your camera around. <laughs> I, uh, let's see, I, yeah, thanks for dealing with that. I, what, <laughs> good sport. I, let's see, what's, what's the first thing that people noticed about you guys when you went, like, you have really nice hair, did people, like, comment on that? And some people have really nice eyes, like, for me, when I walk in a, into a room, it's my complexion that stands out. It's just like this pasty white skin that people literally ask me when I when I walk into a room, do you have sunscreen? <laughs> it's like, there, uh, there's two angles here. They're either concerned for my health because someone like me might be walking around unprotected from the UV rays out there. Or maybe they just correctly assume that I always carry sunscreen with me. <laughs> you know, I, I feel like calling someone pasty, like, like that's the last skin color related comment that we're allowed to make <laughs> these days. Get your jobs in now though, all right? I'm gonna mobilize my pasty friends. We're gonna, we're gonna start a world, worldwide support group. It's called SPF 1000. <laughs> it's gonna be great. Um, you guys uh, might be surprised to know that I do drugs on occasion. <laughs> yeah. No, I, I like to do cocaine sometimes. <laughs> Same. I, but I do it in like a really kind of introverted, like 30-something way, where I'll just, I'll just like do a few lines on a Saturday night and then curl up with a good book. <laughs> Jane Austen, pages. I got book club tomorrow. What do you expect? You know. Um, how about uh, any ladies in the room? Uh, who has an IUD? Yeah. Yeah. I I will say women with IUDs are always a, a little too proud of it. <laughs> Trends. Like, like I, you know, getting an IUD is this very like painful, personal decision, and you know, but all my friends are just pressuring me to get one. They're like, Sarah, you have to get an IUD. 2018 is all about copper. <laughs> I'm like, no, like I'm on the pill, right? And I, and I, I am fine with it. I've been on the pill for like a decade. I can handle that daily responsibility. I don't care if it's not trendy. I don't care if it's the equivalent of wearing Crocs today. Like, <laughs> I, uh, you know, I'm fine. And, and plus, what do you think is gonna happen
happened to that little metal device shoved up your moist vagina for five years? Like, that shit's gonna rust, okay? It's like this shaped like a little anchor, like it's gonna look like a little sunken shipwreck in your uterus. Barnacles growing all over it. Mm -mm. No, no. I, I'm already dealing with uh, yeast infections. I don't also need to battle some pirate ghost of Davy Jones up there. <laughs> No, thank you. <laughs> Is it? You got the Davy Jones rabbit? I, that was like a kind of a niche one there. I'm glad it, yeah. It's good to know. Um, let's see. Let's uh, take it back a minute. I, uh, I, I noticed that, the, you know, here in San Francisco, there's a ton of, like, you know, healthy, organic foods. And, and then we have all the packaging has, like, little words of wisdom on the label. Like, I, I was drinking a, this uh, yogi tea, and, and on the package it said, where there is love, there is no question. <laughs> and I was like, first of all, I'm not trying to get mentored by a tea bag. <laughs> right. And secondly, like, for, for me, where there is love, there are endless questions. <laughs> it's like 100 uncertainty, right? Like, so I'm just sitting there drinking this tea and thinking about my boyfriend and being like, do I love him more than he loves me? <laughs> How far is that receding hairline gonna go? <laughs> How come I never like him in the morning? <laughs> Does he look too much like my brother? <laughs> Just enough. <laughs> oh, no. My uh, my brother's wife is Asian. Thank you. And, uh, yeah. Yeah. No. So I I just I have this dream that if I marry a black guy, then together the four of us would make the perfect stock photo. <laughs> Asian, black guy, we would run this town. We would be in textbooks, corporate PowerPoint slides, <laughs> gathered around the conference table looking at graphs, <laughs> laughing despite our differences. <laughs> we could just throw in a lesbian and a guy in a wheelchair. We could make a reboot of Glee. <laughs> Are you guys right? 